guys, Mojimod here, and I'm doing a video of Splone Affected tutorial. Here's what it's going to look like. You could change a lot of the options, so you can make it different. So, as you can see, it forms my name, and then it just explodes. Bam. So then, show you at the start. So they're all just like a ball, and then they form my name, and then they explode. So. Basically, that's what we're going to be doing. So, open Cinema 4D, do your render settings and everything. I'm just going to add a grayscale grid of seamless floor. It's looking good. So, um,. What you want to do is you want to add a cute two um, polygons. I'm going to add a cube and a sphere, and one of them you want to add to. You want to hide. I'm just going to hide the cube. Hold o hold Alt, and then click both. Just click twice on the dots to hide it, and then drag whatever object you hid and put it to the top of your screen and then wanna make your other object very small I'm just gonna put it to about ten twenty actually and then get a cloner object and then put your other object into cloner I'm just gonna say sphere because that's what I'm using and then in clone object the mode is set to linear and then you just want to put it to object and then drag your cube or whatever ob other object you've got and put it into your object box here and then as you can see you just put the four points I'm going to put the vortex to volume and then I'm just going to alt the count a little bit and I'm going to do it to 100 no I'm not and then you want to have a spline text with a squiggly line hold down and let go on text and then write whatever you want I'm just going to put tutorial and then choose your font I'm going to be using uh, I'll use this one it's quite cool and then what you want to do is you want to get a spline effector no graph effector and spline and then in your spline effector it will have a spline and you want to just drag in your cube no, no you don't you want to drag your text into the oh Whilst, while on your clone object, you want to go to Effector and then Spline. Sorry about that. And then just drag your text into the Spline. And then, as you can see, they've just gone straight to my to one letter. But before I do that, I'm just gonna get some materials. Um. Hmm. I use this one. I'm just gonna drag this onto my sphere. <laughs> As you can see, it just changed it. So, onto your spline effector, these were all the options that you can change, and um. If you change the segment mode to full spacing, then they'll all change. So you could just change it to use index and then change this. As you can see, they all change. So you could do some kind of like 
transition where it just keeps changing the numbers. You know, you could do that. So I'm just going to put it to zero and put full spacing. Because I think that's probably the best. And then you want to just put some more clones. And so they literally make up your word. I'm going to put 120, I think that will be good. 120, maybe 125. That's that's looking good. Yeah, that's good. And actually, into my sphere, I'm gonna just control drag down to duplicate it, and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna add a different material to that. So and then. When I render now, they'll have the two different ones, in my case gold and blue. So, if you just go to your spline effector and the strength, see they're all in my cube, and then, so if we go to 100, bam, it's on my text. So if I just render it there. So they're all together. So um, if you wanna, that's exactly the, that's literally what I done for my other video for this. So if you wanna do a lot more, you can just do that. Pretty basic. Um, so um, well. You could change it to, <coughs> oh yeah, that's the other part. You want to go to your text, no, to your spheres, and add a rigid body to both of them. You, if it's 11.5, right click, cinema 4D tags, no, MoGraph tags, and then rigid body, or if you're on R12, simulation, dynamics, 